Hello, hello, my creative friends. So good of you to join me again for another mixed media tutorial video. Today I'm working in my little baby art journal. It's got craft pages, which is pretty cool and something different to play with. Um, I find that the small size is actually pretty handy sometimes. So I'm going to just use my regular acrylics. You know how much I love Liquitex Basics. It's my favorite, but I also have other brands that I sometimes use and try out like this Deco Art um, Green Gold, I think, and this Turquoise from Dina Weekly. So I'm not using these brands for any particular reason. Um, I just grabbed whatever I had based on the colors I wanted to use and as always you know me um, finger painting is always fun so I'm definitely going to incorporate some of that and the idea here is just to add a little bit of color on top of this pre-painted red background I just had some leftover paint from the previous page as you can see at the top so I just put it on another page so I had something to start with next time like today so I'm just dabbing the paint um, most of them you can see the difference of opacity in the different brands here the yellow is a lot more transparent and the green as well uh, whereas Dinner Weekly's paints are pretty opaque so all I did is just dab 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 and just add a bit of color in my background so in the meantime while you want looking I kind of dried that off a little bit and then I'm going to add a little bit more yellow just to make sure that I have enough color on my background nothing too fancy as you can tell um, I'm just playing I don't really have any specific goals here I'm just grabbing things and going with the flow Now that my paint is pretty dry, you don't want to do anything else uh, without your paint completely dry, I'm grabbing some pretty washi tape. This is an all and create design that um, is on our website, mixedmediastore.com.au if you need any art supplies. And I'm just simply tearing off some bits of this washi tape and placing it on my background. My goal is just to create an abstract, colorful background, um, nothing complicated. I'm just going for something quick and easy today. Here I've got a leftover stamped um, image from my previous tutorial video. You can check that out on YouTube. And I decided to reuse it here. Um, that stamp, if you remember from the other video, got broken when I tried to peel it off from the um, from the backing sheet. So, you know, I still made the most of it and I'm going to put it on the edge of the page to make it look a little funky. Now, a little um, gel medium is the best to glue anything on your mixed media journal pages. So I'm just being quite generous here because I know that any leftover will squeeze out from under the image when I place it down and press it down. So I'm just generous and then um, I just scrape off everything to put it back in my jar once I'm done so there's nothing wasted and it's always a good idea to put it on top and below so below to seal it to your paper sorry to glue it to your paper and on top to seal your image so you can add anything else that you wish on top of it here I'm using a Finaber silicone brush which is a really cool tool because it's easy to um, clean afterwards just a little baby wipe and you know you're done you don't have to worry about ruining the bristles of your brush Brushes. Um, I don't recommend using a brush for gel medium because of that so a, a silicone brush is an excellent tool so once again I'm drying everything nothing too fancy as you can see <laughs> but I hope you're enjoying this tutorial so far you know it's just fun to have a bit of play I'm grabbing my big box of Neocolor 2 um, these are wax crayons that are water solubles and I just love them. They're so, so cool. They're not cheap, but I guarantee you that the price is worth it because they are excellent quality and highly pigmented. And to me, there are no other crayons, what water soluble crayons on the market that are as good as this. This is the, you know, the top. <laughs> So I'm just adding a little bit more color here and there wherever I want it. Um, I find it easier to do it this way than adding paint in, you know, tiny areas. This gives me more control. So I'm just scribbling and scribbling away. And um, sometimes I smudge, um, I smudge it with my finger a little bit. They're not supposed to be smudgeable as such, but they do smudge a little bit if you uh, use your finger. So 
Um, no water just yet. I'll add a little bit later on. And yeah, just adding some contrasting colors here and there. You can see me smudge a little bit. Um, so they are quite versatile, but if you wanted something super smudgeable, then you might want to look into something like gelatos, for instance, um, that, which are very smudgeable um, and um, made for that purpose. Whereas these are more made to be diluted with water later on, really. So not much. You just scribble away and let me let you watch me scribble away. coming in with my water brush just to dilute those pigments in some of the areas and make them a little bit softer wherever I want them to be. Um, you don't have to dilute everything. You can certainly leave those um, scribbly marks on there as well for a little bit more texture and a bit more interest. Uh, or you can dilute them. It's wherever, wherever you like. And the good thing, because they're water soluble, is that if there's something you don't like, you can add a bit more water and or just use a baby wipe and just wipe it away completely. Remember, I sealed that flower stamped image with the gel medium earlier. So that allows me to add things like wet media on top because of that. Now I'm coming back in with my big Sharpie black marker just to redraw some of those lines that are a little bit more faded after adding some crayons on top. If you notice on my um, washi tape I've got some black marks and I thought it'd be a great idea to just well I've got my white sharpie in hand to repeat that pattern on top of my page this way when you repeat elements from your background on your foreground it connects everything together and makes your page feel uniform and that's how it all feels cohesive um, so I'm just adding little marks here and there again nothing complicated at all but it's all super fun and now I'm bringing in a Posca pen, black again, with a finer tip this time, just to add a couple of words because I really enjoy this page and I really felt happy creating it. I really do hope that you enjoyed it as well. It was a simple page, but you know, simple is 
usually the best really um, and if you do did enjoy it then i'd really love it if you um, added a comment or a like or if you're not subscribed then definitely subscribe to the channel of course everybody on youtube asks you to do the same thing like comment subscribe and all that jazz and everyone tells you how important it is but it really is it does make a difference um, so it does help the channel stay afloat um, and not be pushed down to, to the pile of videos on youtube because there are millions of videos out there so really appreciate your support and obviously a bit of interaction with you guys is always awesome and lets me know that you enjoy what i do and that you do want to see more videos like these Hold on, I just had an idea on how to make this page even more special by adding a little glitter with some stickles, um, just a few dots here and there. And when I say a few dots, it's always hard to stop, so I will try to restrain myself. Um, but just added a few, adding a few highlights um, around the page. It doesn't look like much at the moment, but when they dry, they will leave some beautiful little sparkles um, around and catch the light, and it's always pretty. So. A little bit goes a long way with the stickles. <laughs> don't do, don't overdo it. Okay, I am quite happy now. So here's the final close-up. Um, the stickles are not completely dry, but hopefully you can see where I've put them. It's hard to catch them with the light, but they do add a little sparkle that's really pretty. So once again, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know with some kind of uh, interaction, whether it's a comment, a like or anything. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.